Coming up, we're going to be talking about a new Queen concert coming to Disney+, Plus. Marvel getting an IMAX update, and also an update on the new Doctor Who series. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from what's on at DisneyPlus.com, a quick Disney Plus news roundup. So let's start off with talking about Queen, because we're going to be getting a brand new concert arriving on Disney Plus around the world on May the 15th. So this concert is called Queen Rock Montreal, and it is... Featuring all the main stars from the band, including Freddie, you've got Brian, you've got Roger, and you've got John in there. The original concert took place back in November of 1981 and was arranged specifically to be filmed for a full-length concert film to document their live show. This is the first concert film available with IMAX enhanced sound powered by BTS, and subscribers will also be able to get access um, through if you're using the right kind of equipment and stuff. So this concert was released in IMAX theaters for a limited time earlier this year, and I think this one's going to be um, a big hit. I know there's a lot of Queen fans. I am one of them. Love Queen. Love the music. So definitely going to be checking this one out when it drops on Disney+. Plus. Kind of continues this trend that we've seen with Disney of kind of doing uh, specials and concerts with... Um, established artists, so we've seen um, most recently Taylor Swift, Elton John, Billie Eilish, um, we had Bono, um, and also kind of a bit of a strange thing I think with May's lineup at the minute, between this, we're also getting a Beach Boys documentary, and a documentary about Jim Henson, very much going for an older audience, uh, I don't know if that's um, something they're specifically going for, but yeah, it did seem a little bit funny. Um, obviously this is not a new concert in the fact that you know it's 40 years old, but um, I think for Queen fans, this one's going to be a big hit. But let us know. You're going to be checking out this Queen concert on Disney+. Plus. Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. To go alongside the release of Queen Rock Montreal, Disney is also going to be updating 18 Marvel films to having this new IMAX enhanced sound. So obviously you're going to have to have the equipment in place to use it. But the 18 films include Ant-Man and the Wasp, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Avengers Infinity War, Eternals, Avengers Endgame, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Black Panther, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, The Marvels, Black Widow, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Captain America Civil War, Thor Ragnarok, Captain Marvel and Thor Love and Thunder. They'll all be released on the same day on um, March They'll all be released on the same day on May the 15th. Um, so you just if you've got the devices and stuff, you can set it all up in there. But I think this is definitely a good thing. We're seeing more of Disney working with IMAX. You know, they're the only streaming service that has this kind of IMAX technology at the minute. Obviously, you can watch some of the films in IMAX as well. But I think this is good, upgrading Disney Plus to offering the best quality, the best video performance, and best sound is really good. But let us know, are you excited about this? Is it something that you can use? Do you have the equipment to use it? That's the key thing as well. Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Shifting gears now, let's now talk about Doctor Who because we're only a few weeks away from the release of the very first season, so it's kind of technically like a soft reboot because we're like it's been around for 60 plus years, but they're rebooting it with Disney coming back in. And we're going to see uh, Shuri Gatwa teaming up with Millie Gibson, and they're going to be going on a number of adventures. Really looking forward to it. Obviously, we've had the kind of a 60th anniversary specials and the Christmas special already released on Disney Plus around the world and on BBC here in the UK. But over the weekend, uh, the BBC did put out some images of the brand new companion who's going to be joining them for the second season. That's not uncommon for Doctor Who to actually have multiple companions at any one time and they take two different characters on. We pretty much know now that Millie Gibson is going to be leaving in the second season. Brandu Sefru is going to be taking over as the new companion. So I think having her in there with uh, Millie for that second season, I think that's a good way of kind of transitioning. We're going to know her, obviously. She was a major star in the Star Wars Disney Plus series Andor. So it's great to see um, some, just some new faces and stuff. But again, yeah, this is not uncommon with Doctor Who. It's not the first time it's happened. And yeah, it will probably happen again, hopefully, as long as the series keeps running and stuff. But yeah, so they're introducing a second companion, and then that will kind of transition then into the first season, I suspect, with just um, Rada being on her own. But let us know. Are you excited about the return of Doctor Who? What do you think about them already kind of putting this out there? I think in some ways they kind of have to because leaks, but also they've been filming it. They kind of have to get this all out there and just be a little bit more open about it. But 
I'm not entirely sure if the timing of it was good to do just ahead of the release of the first season, but at least you know that there's going to be a second season. But let us know, you're excited about Doctor Who? Love to hear your thoughts on this in the comments below. Next week is Earth Day, I'm going to be seeing a brand new Disney Plus original series called Secrets of the Octopus. Um, a fantastic series, I'll be sharing my thoughts on that one pretty soon. But next year, we're going to be getting Secrets of the Penguins, and Disney has actually put out a very small little clip which features Birdie Gregory, who you might know from some of the other recent Disney Plus original series. He's been down in Antarctica filming some amazing footage of all of these penguins on this big cliff and they're all like leaping off of it into the sea um, because they're trying, um, obviously the, the water's dropped and the ice, they've got up there on the ice. Incredible footage, it is rather scary just to see all of these penguins just leaping off of here. Um, I think Secrets of the Penguins is going to be a big hit. This continues the expansion of the Secrets of franchise. We've already seen elephants and whales and obviously we've got octopus dropping in next week. Now we've got penguins and then we got bees after that. Yeah, just great to see this series. It is amazing. I've enjoyed the previous two seasons. Um, but yeah, more stuff with penguins? Well, let me know. What did you think of the footage? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Let's now talk about what's new on Disney Plus today. The major new release around the world was a new episode of Vanderpump Villa. That is Monday's new releases right now. Obviously, that's on Hulu and Hulu on Disney Plus in the United States. Also in the US with the Hulu's add-on, you've also got new episodes of American Idol. Plus, you've got some new animated shows including The Great North and Grimsburg so plenty of new stuff there to watch plus some films but yeah all lots of different things but are you watching Vanderpump Villa let me know in the comments below I'm not carrying on anymore it wasn't really for me but let us know what you think of it in the comments below and our question today which comes from Royal Law who says should Disney confirm an SEA film series or both at D23 so this is actually um, what's called the Disney's Society of Explorers and Adventurers so this is Something you might have seen if you've been going to the theme parks because they kind of interconnect some of the attractions with this group of explorers. There used to be a like a nightclub at Walt Disney World. Um, in Disneyland in uh, Japan, there's a little bit more. They've got different things going on there. Yeah, these characters just pop up in different things. One of them is like Mystic Manor in Hong Kong, which is an amazing attraction, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, so there's been rumours of them working on films and series and stuff, so maybe at D23 it might be time to announce something. I mean, that's definitely the audience to put it to because they're much more interconnected with, like, um, stories from the parks. But also, I could see this project just being shelved because I'm not sure if... If it's going to work, um, just like trying to shoehorn something in, run, rummaging around the parks, trying to find something that you might be able to translate. You know, it did well with Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise was a bit hit and miss. I don't know, I just don't know if it would work or not. Um, but I think, yeah, D23 is definitely the time to do it, because you're going to get the most strongest reaction, because you're going to have the theme park fans and stuff there at the event. Um, I'm just not sure if if it would work now, um, like a, a classic like 1980, not even 1980, but like 1800s kind of thing of, would that work now? I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting to see how all this comes together, but maybe they can tie it in with something else. But I don't know. I, I could see this entire project just being shelved right now personally, but let us know. Would you like to see um, a C uh, series or film. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Go check us out over at what's on at disneyplus.com. Like, follow, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Laters.